Hey, it's your girl Andrew Antonio here and today I'm going to go and review John Reed Fitness in Liverpool Street. I've never done a video like this before so I hope you do like it. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already then please hit that subscribe button because I'm a personal trainer and I'm giving away all my advice for free. The place looks so super duper cute by the way and the reviews are really really good. Managed to get a 20 day trial so I would link that down below. If not the day passes are usually £25 which is a little bit steep. My bank account's just like, oh, I did not want to spend that £25. So luckily, I don't know actually, we'll wait and see if it is worth the £25 because there are lots of things that come with it, you know. So let's just get right into it because I'm jibber jabbering. Let's go. So I'm having to come in with a voice over as there was music playing and I don't want to get copyrighted. So here I am. The gym is literally a two minute walk from the station as you've just seen. I was a little bit confused at first as there was no reception at the bottom, but you got to walk up the stairs to get to the main floor. And that's where I was greeted by the receptionist and they are very welcoming and helpful. Of course, I headed straight to the change rooms to unload my bag and go for a tinkle. <laughs> I'd seen the aesthetics of this place online, but nothing compares to seeing it in person. Such good lighting everywhere and perfect to take cute little selfies before heading out onto the gym floor. I would describe the change room as like, I don't know, like bohemian sort of bougie style. I don't know, <laughs> I ain't the best at describing things, but I loved the change rooms. The most important thing about the change rooms and the toilets is the fact that they were so clean and actually smelled nice and fresh. Now for the lockers, you need to pop the code in before you close it, okay? Before, guys, turn the dial to the right where it shows the lock padlock. And then you mess up your code so it's not your actual code like on there, visible to other people. And that's it, your locker is now locked. To unlock it though, you simply just pop in your code and turn it to the left. Now, if you do forget your code, don't worry. There is a man at the desk who has the key and it's as simple as he'll come in, unlock it with your key and bish bash bosh. So the entrance of the gym is over there and you walk all the way down the corridor, you'll find the changing rooms on your left. The studio and as you can see they do the hot yoga in here too is what I'm guessing. Look how big this place is. I like the little pebbles as well. I think it gives it proper yoga vibes. Yoga vibes. Oh they've got like a moon bit. Is that what like the moon actually looks like? I don't know if you guys can see. That's the moon. But it's so super big. Maybe they, it looks like a ballerina sort of studio as well, right? Super cute. Ooh. <laughs> then after you come out the studio, you walk straight into the weight area, which is very decently sized. Although they only have one squat rack and one Smith machine on the main floor, that is a point deducted. A detail that I love is the fact that the machine cushions have a slight camo print on them, which I think is a really nice touch. The dumbbells go up to 36 kg and they have two sets of every weight which is perfect as you won't be like waiting around for too long and there were about 10 benches in front of the mirror. The best aspect about this gym is the fact that they have a lot of plate loaded machines for your back, chest, shoulders, legs, biceps, booty, you name it. They had at least one machine for it and I love them because most of the time they are separated and you have to push or pull the actual weight with that one arm whereas on a basic cable machine you may be using one arm more than the other so this is great for sorting out any imbalances within the body imagine yourself back at reception now and then turn left you'll come into another weight section but this time it's all cable machine ones again they had such a wide range of machines but also ones that i would never seen before in my life they unfortunately didn't have instructions on the machine on how to use them or what body part it would be training, which is bad for, I think, for beginners because, like, how are you going to know, you know, unless you ask someone, which I'm sure they would be very helpful, but it just would have been nice if the instructions were also on the machine. I finished off the session within the sauna, which is located in the changing rooms. They provided you with fresh towels too, so no need to bring your own. The shower area was again very clean and lovely. They had soaps in there too, so again, you don't have to bring your own. 
And that is the end of the video, guys. If you liked it, then please give a thumbs up. I definitely want to go and visit some other gyms. So if you have any gyms that you want to go to, but a little bit too far for you, then please comment down below and I'll go and visit them for you. I will eventually like be doing a top five of my most favorite gyms in London too. So keep an eye out for that. If you haven't subscribed already, then make sure you do because I am a personal trainer. I'm giving away all my information for free. Oh, I did not take a breath then, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get my nails done in a minute. I'm very excited, I haven't had my nails done in so long. This is completely unrelatable, I'm gonna go now. So if you want, you can go and watch these two videos next and enjoy.